Hey, this is Anthony Thrips. So the TV we can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Scorpion Podium One Piece Leather Race Suit available at Revzilla.com. So to my left, I have Raph in the new flagship from Scorpion. This is the Podium, just under that $1,000 mark. And again, they've completely retooled their approach to the suit market. So they've spent a few years working with GP level riders. And right now we see a Lexus Mosbo in Moto3 currently rocking the Scorpion Podium in competition. Now if we look at it, you're getting that 1.2 to 1.4 mil grade cowhide. Tremendous perf scheme on this bad boy. So again, for the North American market, for all of us that get a hot, three season warm weather, it's going to flow a ton of air. And what I also like about it, besides some of the nuances I'm gonna to get to in a second, is that it has integrated Sastec molecular armor in the shoulders, in the elbows. You can upgrade the back with them. And I do like that they've done these integrated TPU sliders on the shoulders as well as the knees. And the way they've done them is dual stitch them and recess them. So again, they're providing a seamless transition in a slide so they're not gonna force you to tumble as if they were sitting on top. Again, forward thinking by Scorpion in putting together what, they're, what they have come out with, which is a premium suit, safety stitch with a lot of creature comforts and upgrades. Now, with regard to size, I have Raft to my left. He's gonna be 5'11", 175, 180, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size medium. And again, it's gonna be narrower in the arms, narrower in the legs, but again, not too surprising as it is American cut, but it's a generous American cut as, we're, as he's wearing a size medium. Typically, Raft can be between a size medium and a large, depending on leathers and depending on how they're cut. Now, if we look at it from an aggression standpoint, ready, when we think about relaxed race suits, we think about intermediate race suits and hardcore race suits that are meant to be really optimized to be in the tuck, this bad boy fits somewhere in the middle. So I would say that the podium is more of an intermediate race fit. It's still comfortable enough for him to be standing straight up and down, but it's not overtly baggy. Keep that in mind, guys. And remember, if you're concerned about sizing, we'll ship for free. And as always, you can click here and subscribe to us at Revzilla TV. I'd love to hear your comments and your questions about the podium. But more importantly, stay tuned for all of the latest gear reviews are constantly rolling out. Now, when you get back into the nuance, remember, Scorpion is using a lot of the, the race bread features that they've been developing over season after season. And if we look at it, you're gonna see YKK auto-locking zippers. Kevlar reinforced aromatic stretch panels at the arms. You're gonna see them in the crotch going down the inside of the legs as well. Notice the foam padding here for rib and abdomen protection as well as vibration dampening against the tank, giving more comfortable and extended race periods at speed. And notice they've even at the collarbone added some of these extra little divots of EVA foam padding, again, to add a little bit of additional protection. Now remember, for this first season, one color available, black, white, red, and a high-vis yellow. Again, a very loud pattern tying in with some of the other loud patterns we see from Scorpion, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see additional colorways coming down. And if you scan down the rest of the front of this bad boy, elastication above the knee, more TPU that's recessed above the knee, and you're gonna see your race style knee pucks that are integrated on their Velcro panels. You can also note too that the entry and exit point at the cuff, and you see he has a CD Vortice on his left foot, on the right foot you can see the medial side zipper with an auto-locking YKK zip. Now, bringing it back up, turn and face away from me there, Raph. Notice Chevron EVA style padded areas on the sleeve, elastication above the elbow, Sastec armor molecular elbow all the way down the forearm, and notice there's, there's no perforation in impact prone areas. So you're getting the benefit of having your, your leather that's not weakened by perforation be in those accident prone areas. Big elasticated accordion stretch panel across the back along the shoulder blade, and again, more foam areas that are raised to give you additional protection. Now going down the side, you can see the side profile of a leg. A lot of perforation here on the outside or lateral side of the hip, moving into the thigh, and then again, more Kevlar reinforced stretch for breathability in less accident prone areas. Turn face backwards for me now, Raph. Now one of the things I'm gonna nitpick that I wish I would have seen them do was maybe give you a little bit of either fleece interiorly or a little bit of neoprene to the collar or do a collar cutaway. Again, it's a low profile collar that we see in a race suit. We're seeing more and more manufacturers give that notch so when you are in the tuck, the collar never interferes with your helmet. The hump is a complete departure of what they, we've seen pe previously from Scorpion. It's now the PowerTech hump. They're using a third-party hump with patented ventilation channels within this hump. It is a full race hump where we see something like the clutch jacket, which would be your two-piece suit option. It's gonna be more of a sport hump. Again, it's meant to be big. It's meant to be in the right place, be aerodynamic, but keep you elevated in the, in the event of a slide without making you tumble. And if we look at the way it ties in down here along the back here, you notice there's a little bit of extra room there. And again, 
you're going to have that big band of elasticated panel right above the seat. And there is coccyx protection there as well. That's your tailbone. You're going to have that integrated foam padding there to keep you from having or give you a better chance of not breaking your tailbone, which can be a common crash depending on how you go down on the track. Come back around to the front for me there, Raf. Now, some of the stuff you can't see that I really like from this suit is on the interior. Remember, you can upgrade the back protector with a CE Level 2 Sastec back protector from Scorpion. And there's a fully removable, almost 3D Quick Wick 2 liner, antimicrobial, antibacterial, completely removable. It's the sleeves, it's down the legs. Again, you're going to wash that sucker. So it's going to wick sweat away, absorb the sweat, get a little funky if you do a couple track days in a row or a long weekend, but you have the ability to wash it. Cheaper race suits don't give the, you the ability to remove that and keep it lasting longer and staying fresher over time. So all in, remember, top of the food chain. A lot of this DNA makes its way to the clutch jacket if you want to go two-piece suit. This is the podium from Scorpion being currently worn in Moto3 by Alexis Mosbo. As always, click right here. The next step in your journey is to read rider reviews on the podium at RevZilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. Remember, we are going to ship for free if you're concerned about sizing. And as always, give us a, a shout. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. If you want to talk to a geek, we're happy to compare and contrast the pros and cons of the Scorpion Podium with other similarly priced race suits at around that $900 mark in the market. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.